OK, so now we have ModX installed. How does it all work? In, the, in this lesson, we are going to look at the key concepts. So first, let's dive straight in and show you how to write some content on your website. So the resource tab is where all the pages for your website will exist. By default, there's just one page, and that's the home page. So if we click on that. This is where we edit the content of the home page and all the other information associated with the home page. So if we type some content in the content box and click save, that should be saved. Now if we go to the content menu item and choose preview site, there we go. That's our first page, our home page in an example site.com. If we now click view source, and we can see that there is already some HTML code there surrounding the content that we've just typed in. So where did that come from? If we go back to our manager, we can see that the, the content is there in the content box. And then if we look up here on the right, we see uses template, base template. So the template is the document that hold, holds that underlying code that we've just seen in the page source. And the templates are held under the elements tab. So if we go to elements, then the first item is templates. If we expand that, then we can see that base template. So if we have a look at the base template, we can see the code that we saw in the page source. And here is the tag that gets the content from our home page. Tags are a really important concept in ModX and a really powerful one as well. But before we talk about those some more, um, it would be nice if this code was easier to read. So let's look into that a bit. So we have a couple of options to make the code easier to read. We could make click this is static checkbox here. And what that will do, it will make this code an external file so then we can open it in our favorite text editor which should have syntax syntax highlighting the other option is we can add some functionality to modx by using an extra and there's all sorts of extras you can get to add different functions to modx and one of those is a syntax a syntax highlighter so let's install that now. So you click on the installer, extras installer, download extras and you get the most popular ones coming up. But the one I'm looking for is called Ace. So I download that. Then once that is downloaded, we go back to the package manage manager. There it is. Then I click install. So you can't see it. There's a continue button here. So that's all gone well. Ace is installed. So now let's go back to the base template which we were editing and have a look at that. So the you'll notice the left hand menu has disappeared. Now if you find this little arrow and click that, that expands again and uh, there we have access to the to the elements tab and our base template. So click on base template, then we're we're back back again. So now we've got syntax highlighting, line numbers, and we can expand the text box so it T takes up the whole screen so we can uh, take advantage of the 
more space. And if we do a bit of editing there, then our code becomes a lot more readable. I hit Control S there to save the document. Let's talk about tags again. Tags in ModX are a really powerful tool. Tags always have the same format. They're always surrounded by double square brackets. And there are different types of tags in ModX. And the different types are indicated by the different symbols at the start of the tag name. The tags with an asterisk are variables related to the page. So if we go back to the resource tab, look at the home page. The content was represented by the content tag and to find out the other tags available, if you move your cursor over the different input boxes, you find the page title tag, long title tag, description tag, summary and many others that you can use in your to get these values into your template. All these are called template variables but there are other sorts of tags as well so let's go back and have a look at our base template again. If you notice there we've got these with two plus signs in front of them and these tags are system settings. System settings are values that aren't just associated with one page or, or a particular template but can be system wide like the site name or the site URL. And to find, create or change system settings you go to the cog icon and the first item on that drop down menu is system settings. So with each mod install you get the core system settings and also now we've got some system settings associated with ACE, the extra we've just added. So you can change system settings for ACE here or if we go back and have a look at the core system settings you can also there's lots of those and you can filter them you can filter them by these different headings as well the next tag I want to talk about is the chunk tag so let's go back to the base template and the symbol for a chunk tag is a dollar sign so let's create a chunk my chunk now you create chunks uh, in the elements tab there's a heading chunks so click the plus sign give the chunk the title my chunk so your chunk might be a banner ad, for example. Let's save that. Let's have a look at the front page. So yeah, not a very exciting page, I must admit, but you get the idea. So the chunk, my chunk, is being used in the base template. There, and the base template is being used by the home page as the content. So you can see how it all fits together. There's one more tag I want to talk about, which is a snippet tag. So let's create a snippet in our base template. Let's call it my snippet and snippets are just names they don't have any prefix any symbol prefix prefix so you can tell a snippet by it just being a name and you create snippets 
in the uh, elements tab again under under snippets so click the plus sign so what snippets do snippets are when you want to add some more advanced advanced features so this is where you get into doing a bit of PHP so I've put a bit of PHP code in there so let's have a look and see what that produces so that's my name that PHP looked into the database and got my username out of there and put that on the front page so that's snippets so you can do lots of clever stuff with snippets